What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to be having a look at the first beta of iOS 11. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So once you've installed iOS 11, you'll start to notice a few little changes while setting up your device. Some of the UI elements have changed such as the buttons and also the keypad. So there's not a notifications panel anymore, so when you swipe down to look at your notifications like you would in iOS 10, in iOS 11 you will be taken to your lock screen and your notifications will be shown there. So Siri is getting a huge major update as well. Apple are changing the voice of Siri to make him sound more natural. A new on-device learning system will enable Siri to understand what a user is likely to want depending on the circumstances, location or the time of day. The user data will be synced across all devices on a user's account with end-to-end -end encryption. Apple have also added a translation feature into Siri as well so you can translate between English, Chinese, French and a few more other languages. So playing around with iOS 11 a bit more you will start to notice a few little UI updates such as the signal bars and also the calculator has been changed. Control Center is something that's got a new look as well. It's now a single page that looks like little blocks and also has 3D touch capabilities for icons. So if you 3D touch into one of these blocks such as the settings one, you will be taken to a little menu where you can actually turn off the Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi or whatnot. For example, if you hold on to the brightness, you will be taken to a big brightness slider where you can actually slide up and down to change your brightness. There are little animations when you press an icon and that's something that I wish all apps had on the home screen. So one of the biggest updates for Apple themselves is the App Store. Now Apple have redesigned the App Store from ground up to help you discover new applications and games that you can't live without. So basically you can discover more apps and games in the Today section which will be updated every day. So games and apps have also got their dedicated tabs as well at the bottom of the app store. You will be able to find all your top charts, categories and everything like that there. So something else that's new is that you can actually buy in-app purchases through the app store as packs for the game itself. So when you take a screenshot in iOS 11 you will get a thumbnail at the bottom of the screen. If you go ahead and click it you can go ahead and annotate the image, edit it, go ahead and open it with a new application, add a signature if you would like or you can crop it right from there. It's a new feature available in iOS 11 and I think it's pretty pretty cool. You will also find the files application pre-installed when you install iOS 11 as well. So let us know what you think about iOS 11 in the comment section. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button. And as always guys, we'll catch you in the next video.